Boss. Boss. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on now? All going, all going. You know, it early enough. You know, hey, early. it's all right, man. You know what I'm saying? When you want something, you got to go at it. You can't play with it, man. Every, hey, every day is a new day that God has made, man. Mm-hmm. And just to be able to wake up in the morning and look to the east and see the sun come up, man, it's a blessing. I know, man. I know, I know. Say so, man. Check it, man. We here, man. Hey, Boss Talk 101 in the building, man. We got a special guest for y'all, man. Uh, this guy right here, man, I, I ain't gonna lie, I've been trying to get him over here, man, because I love what he do, man. <laughs> I feel like he's a visionary, man. Our young youth, man, the people who come in behind us, I feel like is the ones that everything depend upon, and you can tell the way we do the show, man. Check it out, man. My guy, Twan Visuals, in the house, man. How you doing? Man, I'm doing great, Did bro. you like that intro, man? Yes, I love it, like bro. Like, <laughs> here, man. Bro, bro. They need I'm to make like... this nigga just get this nigga a whole program. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, dude, see, I heard <laughs> the song. I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm about to ask, who is that? Like, oh, that's, that's she from these texts, XO. 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 Music, XO. man. I didn't want to miss it. She flies hell, man. I, I love her. You know what I'm saying? That's my, everything we done done up to this far, we got one more coming in. We got about probably six, seven songs, man. But, but we intro always for end up using talk, we use XO, XO, man. XO. I love it, Because she go hard. Oh, I'm from nice. East Texas, man. I don't know if you realize that, bro. When you from East Texas, man, you really purebred, and you started from the... You know how nigga said he got it out the mud. <laughs> oh, nigga, I really, really got it out the mud, nigga. I could go there, but I'm going to let y'all make it this morning. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff I did in the mud. A lot of niggas can't relate to what we do in East Texas, really, to be Most honest different. with you. We come from a different cut, man. So, man, you know, um, you know, when I look at East Texas, like I said, Heat HD just left off the show. And, you know... Um, I looked at both of y'all. I wanted to get both of y'all on here together because we we doing something different with this podcast. We mm-hmm. we basically putting our sight on the ones who really, really making it happen. Like myself. And like you said earlier off camera, you was like, Yeah, you I can tell you know about the camera. Like it, it's a passion, man. I've taken people all over and, and just always tried to invest back into the youth, man. That's something that I, I value. I can show you guys that I worked with before they even got started that doing real well. So it's a blessing for you to be here. Thank you for coming, man. Oh, Taking you. time out of your schedule, your busy schedule. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So just tell, you know, being from Marshall, man, just tell us how you got into the, uh, you know, like the uh, visuals and, and, and just tell us about your first camera, which you said it was the G7. Let's oh, yeah. talk about it. Let's work, baby. <laughs> and how old were you? Yeah, man. Um, I probably was about uh, 19 19 um my friend uh his name boomer boomer d boomer d I'm, shout I'm, out baby i'm not gonna lie without that guy i wouldn't be shooting videos right now man uh, why what did he do for he you? was the first person to ever pay me for a music video oh. wow okay and not knowing that i even know how to use a camera uh i think at the time the g I don't know how much it was. I think it was like eight hundred dollars. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, uh, it was quite. It was eight, nine hundred dollars yeah. when they first came out. Uh, he was willing to give me like five hundred and some for mm-hmm. it, and I saved up the rest and bought my first camera. Didn't know oh, how to use so it. So he gave you the money to buy the first camera. Yeah, that's why I'm like so like. Man, real you'll close never to be him. able to little boy that guy. Do he still deal with cameras or do he even deal with? I'm um, no. He actually uh, do music. Like, okay, he does music. So he and, needed uh, somebody to do his video. Most definitely. Um, I shot like my first video on a Nikon. You know, it wasn't. You know, something that I liked it. And then when he offered, it was like, hey, it's like he just kept coming to me, coming to me. And that's I'm God, like, man. I'm like, I'm just like, eh. That's God, But when man. you did a G7, did you do your research and that's the one that you chose? I did no research. So who? That's who, God, man. I so no who research. pointed you to that camera? You just walked in the store and just went and bought, actually, bought that camera? I actually looked up <laughs> best cheap. A 4K camera. That's right. Mm-hmm. I that's knew right. that I wanted to go with the higher quality route because yeah. I was already shooting 1080, but I yeah. knew that I wasn't shooting good enough with it, but I would always, what I would ask people how to use the camera, but then again, everybody on YouTube was like, somebody can show you, teach you, boom, 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 about a camera, but don't necessarily mean you gonna either go out there and just make a movie like that. Like you actually gonna have to, everybody got their own style. You right. gotta, I'm gonna just put it like you that. You gotta figure out your style. <clears throat> pretty much, so like, Three video graphics can go in the same room, but I promise you they won't shoot that video the same. Same way, right. So pretty exactly. much that's So what did you want to do before 19? 
Um, I actually uh, wanted to do uh, uh, do cybersecurity. I wanted to go to school for working with banks, dealing with all that good stuff. Okay. As far as, um, you know, really dealing security for people, bank accounts. That's what I really wanted to do. I'm like a nerd. I ain't going to so lie. So you were 19, so you were already out of high school. Pretty much, yeah. In school, um, I, had a, um, I had my first son whenever I was in the ninth. Going Ooh. to the 10th grade, yeah. That's um, young. But your dad, How old is he daddy now? was upset like hell. Uh, mom was mom upset. was. She said, you got to get out of basketball. <laughs> basketball uh, was my passion. Wow. Like, I cameras was nowhere. Yeah. No, I ain't think about nothing. Did none you of have it. to get a job? Mm-hmm. To yes, support ma'am. that baby. And that was uh, the decision in my life to where I knew that I, I had to figure out something. I had got a scholarship for Eastman. and um, You had to give it up? Trying to maintain school and taking care of a kid and then, you know, actually moving out and then staying with, you know, my girlfriend now. It was hard. So you are still you're still with her. Of course. That, I'm a, I'm going to applaud you for <laughs> Man, that. Because, what's up? Shout no, out to the black dudes who hold it down. We out so here, man. Rare that I got two in, kids, by the way. We out here, man. Mm-hmm. We that's out so here, man. That, black you know, people that's standing down. We out here, man. A black man or a man, oh, oh, a period. black man or a man, period. Let's say it like that. that in yeah. the ninth grade, you know, knocked a girl up. Normally. Knocked a girl up? No, they made <laughs> passionate love. No, because and that's it how was they love at first sight. You didn't hear the song? But normally it does not last. They usually jump ship, you know, be like, man. It was love. Love at first sight. I got to deal with my, you know, career or my whatever, me, you know, God. whatever. You don't think it was love so at first sight? Still? I'm gonna applaud you for that. I appreciate. I asked you a question. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> ask that. I'm asking you. Do you think it was? I don't know. I wasn't there. It had to be. You know what I'm saying? This is black folks, man. We, you know what I'm saying, this is love. You don't understand love. It okay, happened. Okay, like let me this. ask. Was it love at first sight? Um, probably not at first. I'm <laughs> okay, not lie. okay. See, I love you her got now. So if you watching, I love you now. But I, I just hey. had to put that in there. It just sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried the hell I still. So like, you have a boy and a girl. No, I have two boys. Two boys. So you mean you ha- you got to go back for your baby girl? I'm. I'm Look at he I'm looking not, at the camera I'm like not uh, no more kids. I'm like, sorry. Uh, <laughs> two two is good. I love them to death. Um, they actually love what I do. Wow. Okay. They, they are young and how old are they? Love, um, uh, seven and uh, two. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, so are you um so. Going back to the G7. Are you married? Uh, you just no, going to cut me in there like that? We're getting there though, for okay. sure. Just check it. It's been G7. 10 years, but we're getting there for Let's sure. Check, check it, man. <laughs> check it, check it, man. That's when I get come in like that. I know I get to come in when I say check it, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> J- G7, man. The G7. I want to go back. Let's retract, man. Right. Go back to that G7, man. So you 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 get the G7. You 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 really, the Lumix is where you go with. I mean, yeah, your visuals is hot right there. And then at the time that he does it, he's uploading them to YouTube. And at the end of the day, YouTube only... Sh- giving you 1080p at best so you ain't even seeing the visuals that he's really putting out people don't realize that a lot of times no, at that time sure. oh yeah, i'm on yeah, it now yeah about you know that time and everybody probably had about a 1080 TV. oh that, that's ain't right nobody ain't nobody had, nobody no, 4K had no 4k TV. and ain't nobody, if you did like you know it was probably sitting in the living room that was the only one you had oh we going there <laughs> now. Let me, let me, let let me, me ask a question about that so whenever you shoot it in that and you bring it on your computer and you're editing and looking at all of that it shows you that no, quality. No, 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 not Mine's necessarily. necessarily yes, you, because of the monitor, the monitor that I had, and then the computer that I got built. So I mean, I, I'm editing six K. What are you on that? I mean, what were you on then? I'm not talking about now. Let's go back to when you purchased yeah, this t- camera. No, for sure. No. He said that's what he was no, on then. Like, I'm I'm real. I'm, I'm, I used to work at. Um, he said he was a nerd. So he. That's to, crazy. I used to work at General Cable. I'm not gonna lie. Most of my chicks went to like. So you went and bought you a uh, iMac. No. What kind no. was it? A custom built computer. Custom built, and yeah. you made sure that the visuals was at six K. Uh, for sure. On I, your first I, out, I, I, shout out to this young nigga, man. He really rocking with sure. the electronics. He really not playing. For sure. Like how like nobody would. Nobody I'm does 24. that. Young and I love I love the way how you're doing things. But the, nobody knows it. that. Nobody at knows all, that. Nobody all. knows to to go and do that at such a. How early did you age know to do that? Um, at that point, it was YouTube. Um, wow. You you going? I feel like why? Okay, so at that point, 1080 was a big thing, but you would always hear people be Talking like, well, 4K, people, 6K. people would only if you did, they would view it at 1080." But I'm just like, when I had hit the guy up, I'm just like, "What's the best thing to 4K, or I can get over 4K? Like I can edit my 6K videos, and I've been having that same computer." Yeah, but when you convert it, it does not stay 6K. 
kinda in a way. <laughs> yeah, okay, but to elaborate. When, when, oh, I go, you when, when you export it out, honestly, it's too high for a phone, so right. you do have to downscale right. to 4K, but... <laughs> Having that 6K quality downscale to 4K, it does look beautiful. It does. It looks, uh, okay. It and looks it's a, crisp. It's, it looks a nice. customer. It's a. It's a pretty much also when you explain it to a, a client, it sounds better too. Yeah, but it's still at that point, we're probably still giving them a make 1080 or 4K. <laughs> right, and, right. If you know what you're doing, right. like your customer shouldn't tell a difference. But how many honestly. clients actually know? They don't. Man. A few. Do oh, they? A few. Industry Which levels. Of, of course, course. yeah, they're, course. they're in there. They know for sure. Um, Lil Pookie on the on the block. No, he don't know. He just want a video. He <laughs> you sure. could do it with an iPhone. You guys can start with an Android because he's looking at more creativity as what you're putting and how it looks rather than the quality. As, much, as long as the quality is decent, mm. Pookie on the block don't really care about that. He's not looking at that. He's looking at man. He made me look fly. Look at that. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think whenever I had first branched out to even come to Dallas it was more or less when people would hit me up they was like hey do you shoot 4k do you shoot 4k and I'm like in my head I'm like it doesn't matter if someone's shooting <laughs> Man, 4k you know that, like somebody can buy a 4k camera and shoot your video that right. don't mean it's gonna look nice because it's 4k I'm like I can honestly shoot you on an iPhone correct honestly do you educate them when they ask you stuff no, like, like no you just because at that point it doesn't matter doesn't to them. matter so Export. I just don't go into that detail with it unless they ask for it though how expensive and how um easy was it to get your computer built um, I'm not just not gonna go into numbers, but it was a lot. Yeah, how you like the setup though? How you like? Oh, I love it. I oh yeah, love we find you feeling it, man. You like the this. mic? Like this oh, is man. something that I I watch. Like, oh yeah, I, I, I would rather watch something like this. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with people that's beginning, but I, I would honestly just yeah, oh, that. so you oh that makes us feel good. We yeah. ain't been in the game long. Would you say because we come in because of my background? Yeah, for sure. I think you could tell the way we lay it you out. You understanding your yeah. camera Correct, that's around you and stuff like that. A lot of people like I when I told you at first even. Korea, in the movie the sound you know a lot of people don't go the extra mile to even do this oh you gotta like, be put the camera up and record or might even buy something like that yeah. that's it the like, sound is yeah, the most no. important part that's just backup in case something most alters definitely. you know um but my ahead, question babe. was um just give me a price range of how much it costs to to get a computer built uh, and why like depends on what business you're in why would it be important for um someone watching to get a computer built rather than running to best buy or wherever and saying i want the best um apple mac mm -hmm. you know what is it that that computer being built can give me compared to me just buying one off the shelf the best one that they um, have most of the time when you buying off the shelf you limit it um so you are you not able to put upgrades in them um Getting a custom built, you're either able to go and max it out right there and then, or you're able to build along if you don't have the cash for it. But I, I believe my first time getting into it to where I got it, because I didn't got any upgrades put on it, but it was around like $4,000 just okay. for it. And it's a lot cheaper getting your computer built rather than probably going to get the highest Mac. Yeah. And it's at $4,000 yeah. right. and you're stuck right there. So, so when you do, when you get it built, um, that's the computer that you can keep forever. You just have to keep getting it upgraded, um, as in the software and stuff like that. You just gotta like take that. care of it. Honestly, I've been having mines for a while, and I mean, honestly, if it if it eventually messes up, I'll just have to go get a new one. But I just try to take care of my stuff, though. So you have to get it built by somebody else, or do you do it yourself? I'm a nerd, so <laughs> he can work on it. I went in there. My brother like literally um, went on YouTube and discovered how to build his because he's a gamer now, okay. and he built like I love his computer, like. I was like, you built that? And he said, YouTube, he talked wow. him how to do it. And so YouTube, YouTube. So you build it from like the yeah. the base computer that you have or how do you build um, it? It's just starting from the motherboard, all kinds of stuff. Honestly, it starts from there. And then from there, you get creative. Uh, if you want colors, the casing, all of that, that don't really matter. Honestly, I can get a dual computer, which mine is dull. It's just a red light on it. But I got high process stuff on it. Um, honestly, when you getting it built, it's, it's just better for faster rendering time. I can literally sit here and export a video in full 4K with a bunch of presets and all that on it while I'm working on another video. That's how. So that's that's that's, that's, that's why hot. I say I just be working like I literally. And yours people, is not even the best. So no. Nah. What's the craziest computer like you've ever seen that somebody built, and like what can it do? I think it was like fifteen thousand dollars, and I ain't gonna lie, ah. On my computer, putting a lot of effects 
everything on a 4K footage. I'm talking about a three minute timeline. Mine was lagging bad, but his like it was nothing. Like it was just breeze. Wow. He was able to chop fast, cut fast, and he had a whole bunch of like his was open though. Mine was enclosed. His was actually an open computer. You see everything just you see lined all the components up, pretty much. That's so. all, that's all it remind me of like say Fast and the Furious. You know things work better sometimes when you take that hood off and you do yeah, all of that stuff. Sure. Yeah, but I I think that the thing I look at when you say that is man is that customers clients you know they they definitely can't really see the all the work that goes on behind the scenes Most definitely. but in turn you rendering faster no lag time and all that good stuff because that that's a big part of what slows you down when you exporting mm-hmm. and then even if you get a nice big computer and you 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 shooting uh 4K or 6K, and then you export it wrong, it don't come out right. Yeah. You got to have your your stuff together when it comes down to dealing with this stuff. If you don't, then, your, like you said, you can go in the same room with a better camera. You can have a red, and he can have whatever, the G7 or whatever, and he know his stuff, he can kick your butt. And I'm glad you <laughs> pointed that out because there are some people out here that actually have those high-end cameras yeah. that are still looking like – you know, yeah, and then you know they take. I, I would prefer somebody to watch my videos or even see what I'm doing and tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know, I love that because yeah. I know everybody not perfect. So it'd be a lot of people that are older than me that have been doing it longer than me. I see them doing something or they have a nice camera, but they're not putting out what they need to be putting out with it. Exactly. But exactly. I just that's what we always there. beg for. We always beg for constructive criticism. Oh, yeah, when I'm sharing sure. the page or anybody Man. come on as like, okay, how can we improve? Yeah. And then sometimes you even have to take the haters responses and do your research because some people you might not even be doing anything wrong but because somebody hating on you they'll say oh yeah you doing this 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 is wrong i'll take even that but i'm going to do my because anything anybody tell me i'm not just going to take it i'm going to do my research into it i'm like okay does it make sense for me to implement Mm -hmm. this how can i tweak it to make it my own and stuff like that so you always want to listen to every single criticism just to make it better i agree 100 percent you know, I think that when we started this, it was more, um, you know, uh, when we first started, I think God put us through phases. Mm-hmm. Like when I was taking people to L.A. or Vegas or, or out to ATL, you know, I seen all the things that people miss a lot of time. And I was putting up a lot of money to take those those people that was with me each time with me. And then when I get back and something wrong, it's a hell of a hell of a school lesson you know what i mean you get back you're like oh man i should have took this or i should have did visuals or i should have and so those things god is pruning you and working you into and i say for the bigger job correct and so you get here and then people like twin visuals be like hey man i like what you're doing because he don't see all the stuff i went through to get to here and he could probably tell some of those same stories you know you get back and the audio not there oh you get back (laughs) you get back it's a killer when you look at it like this morning i was looking at something and I looked in the file and I'm like, oh, my G7 was not there. I was not there. But then I was like, man, who did I record today? So I had to go back to Half Pine Films. I had to go back to all the different people to see what happened. And that's take longer. And it takes longer. But now I got to re, re, reorganize my folders to make sure everything's set up correctly mm-hmm. so that when I go to a specific folder, I'm not thrown for a loop of thinking yeah. that should have been there. So those, But in life, babe, sorry. In life, like what I was telling you earlier, everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by mistake. And sometimes we get frustrated at that moment when we're going through things because we don't know what is yet to come. We don't know what it is that that situation is training us for. Correct. And, you know, that's why I tell people, if you can if you can calm yourself down, learn to calm yourself down in a lot of different ways because, and let's take it as a lesson. Okay. What do I need to learn from the situation? As much as it frustrates you, what do I need to learn from the situation? Let me improve. Let me this, because God is going to always give you something bigger, Mm -hmm. but he, you have to show him that you're ready for what he has in store for you. True. When, when he HD was here to just shift subject for a second, he was kind of like, yeah, we, you know, because he do like he from Arkansas, but he do like mostly everything over toward Texas County all mm-hmm. the way over to Atlanta, I'd say. And you take it the rest of the way from the other side. And y'all don't I don't know if y'all realize y'all do it that way. But like, honestly, I realize that maybe <laughs> after my second like, year. Uh, yeah, because that's when I, um, I had watched his video. I think it was Smoothie. 
Yeah. Like, I just never knew him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I think when I started, like, developing, learning, like, everything about a camera and when I started branching out to other artists and, like, seeing everybody. Because I didn't have people from Texas County hit me up. Yeah. But I always look at, like, who's there because I know I can't get everybody. Yeah. So I always sway people to, like, hey, you know, yeah. maybe you should just try to go to him. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm going to drive for, like, three hours. Like, I'm just letting you know. Like, you already – because I, I – what I hate is when an artist down another videographer. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. When when they do that, like I sit there, I listen, but I don't say anything. They can do it to you too. Of course, that's why I don't say anything. Everybody do that, but they don't know what we go through. Correct. Right. As video people, I believe. Have y'all met? No, I'm not. Yeah, I could have made it happen, but you yeah. was you, you <laughs> were busy. We, we, we uh, a couple of times actually. I was trying honestly, to make it's that probably the only videographers that I honestly ever because I've never met Super Dave. Really, I've never met him. So I, I, and, and I admire Super Dave. Super, like that was the person he down that I was there, watching. Isn't he? Yeah. That was a person that I was watching before okay. I even started. I want to say somebody that I had asked somebody about who shot Smitty's uh, video the other week, Sergeant B, and he was telling me it was somebody that taught, and that might have been him. I, I, I don't want to get that wrong, but somebody taught him. I was like, I want to get that guy on the show. It could have been. It's somebody that ta- showed Heat HD. So, you know, it, it's like I'm looking for those guys. Mm-hmm. I'm doing something different. I don't see people do it. Have you ever done a, a video, an interview before? Mm-hmm. Oh well, I yeah, have. Yeah, you said this is the second. This is the second, second one. I, okay, and 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 um, the thing I look at is you guys just don't get enough recognition to me because I think without you guys, the process doesn't happen. You know, honestly, it's the same in the industry. I see a lot of videographers that I look up to. As far as um, I'm weird, so I, I love lighting. Like I love the way someone, Peter McKinnon. Uh, uh, not Peter McKinnon. I would say what's that um, other boy named the one that do all them trips and he go everywhere. I can't remember his man, name. Man, I know. But I do love Peter McKinnon. He, I, he I, deep, I get man. all his stuff. Like, I indie His quality is awesome. Most definitely. And creativity. And when I look at those guys, it just makes me feel like, okay, I got to get more creative, like, way more creative. Because they, they be doing, but they be traveling that, so much. But that's what I get to about the pay, the cost yeah. of the actual whatever we doing. If you hit me right now and say, oh, your budget is So only, let's go back into that because I know I asked you that off yeah. the air. Okay. My question to you, because I've asked so many videographers, um, what is their part? We're filming, we're creating, because they've always told me the artist is the one who tells their vision. So Mm -hmm. I come to you and say, hey, I want to make it look like I'm Missy Elliott. I want to make it look like I'm on the moon. I want to do all this crazy stuff, blah, 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 blah. Am I supposed to come to you detail and saying this is what I want, X, Y, Z, you know, everything? Or do I... Just tell you I want X, Y, and you figure out the Z and everything else. How does that work? Um, I'm going to just go and get deep into this one. Um, as far as when an artist even hits me up, I do my background. Like, I, I will go on their page. You may not get a follow. Like, I look at what they do. Like, there's been plenty of people that hit me up and ain't never shot a video before. At that point, it's like, are you really serious about it? Because you've been doing music this long and you ain't never had a video. And then that that factors in a lot of things. But one thing I used to do that I still do now is I'd be like, what's your budget before anything? Because you can sit here and tell me an idea, but you're thinking that, oh, it's only going to be $400 or $500. But in reality, it could be $1,200 to $1,500 because you want all of this crazy stuff, but then your budget's so low. So at that point, that's when it's, it's really just... When, a, when, when, when we're, I, was, I wouldn't say everybody, but for me, when I'm shooting somebody... And their budget's not there for what their idea is. I just go off of what we can possibly can do for right there. So if, if someone wants a, a Ferrari or something like that, but they can't afford it, they get they do get the best next thing to it. And, and it may not come out like they want to. That's why I was telling you, it may not come out like they want to. So the budget is for the props and everything that they want to put everything in. Everything for clothes, the video. Everything for then. the video. But also that would also include, because um, the more creative it get is the more time it would take for you to create that video and edit it. So is some of that money in the budget also for your time? Most definitely. And then in some of it is um, a lot of people, uh, I would say just like regular videos as far as just with a lot of effects in it. And some of them effects costs. A lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the things that they see, they because uh, what I hate is when someone refers to another video and they want that exact same thing. And I'm no like, such thing. Is that be, exact? Be, be creative, I mean, you, be different. You can, everybody copies as far as effects wise, but it's just like, let's let's come up with something new. new. Like when it comes down to it, when you watch my videos, you'll see the ones I got creative with and the ones they allowed me to actually shoot. 
And I think um, there's only a few videos like that. Um, it was one I shot with a guy named 12 Gauge. He shipped me the location. I did me. Like, he allowed me to do me. I edited it, sent it to him. They loved it. That was all me. They just sent me the location. And you said you like working with men better than women because oh, women are so picky. Because very. How many times did you, ha did you create something and it was a, uh, what did you call it? It wasn't, it wasn't the full production, but it was a. A rough draft. A rough draft, yeah. right? And you sent it to them to see how they like it, what they think, so forth. How many times did you have to redo? Um, like. I don't, because necessarily, because I don't work with a lot of women. The first woman that I ever shot was a girl named Brie Bellicose. She was very easy to work with because her creative mind, she knew how to dress. Uh, I loved her sound. And I felt like in Marshall, she had like the best video at that time. That's when I did my research. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I dropped the G7. Yeah. And I went to the Sony and I went full. Like I watched every video I possibly could. Wow. Every video, literally. If I go on my browser right now, not right now, though. I ain't mm -hmm. going to lie. I don't go on YouTube no more just because I got into that state to where I just want to be my own creative person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when someone asks me to do something, I just try to figure out in my own way, unless it's something complex and I have to watch a tutorial on it. But with time, but with any craft that someone does, um, some people go back to school to, to learn the newer, you know, mm -hmm. or... Now you have YouTube University to learn all the newer everything. So you say you don't really go on your browser, but do you do research of newer things that are Google coming out to, to make videos more creative? Emails, maybe somebody emailing you, tapping in, like like when the, the, the Komodo when it came out. I mean, how do you know when it, if you don't watch YouTube and, and you don't research, you got different technology that's always, that's always coming forth, out. even new Ronins. All um, type of stuff that's gonna hit the scene. What you gonna do? That's you gonna help you. Yeah. Yeah. As far as gimbal wise, yeah. I feel like just working with them for so long, you'll just know how to use them. Yeah, and program them. You know that phone calibrating all that. Yeah. But as far as a camera, I feel like whenever you work with the base models of every camera, yeah, even though they upgraded, it could be the sensor, it could be the yeah, quality, it's still the same. It's still the same as long as you can work with that. Brand, brand like, before, if, like the like Lumix, with Lumix or, like you know, or, or, or Canon or whatever. Pretty much. So, uh, right now I'm just stuck with Sony. They're portable. They're light. The uh, don't get me wrong, they ain't got nothing on Canon colors, but I just love what I yeah, can produce with you, Sony. But um, okay, but is it the cameras that I know it's your creative mind that helps with the creativity, but does softwares and does um, what else does help with the special effects other than physical special effects that people put as yes, props um, softwares for sure right so that's where i was talking about we're trying to stay up to date with certain you know new softwares and new things that are coming out how do you stay abreast with stuff like that um because a lot of things dealing with keying and and just moving a lot of stuff so honestly like you can show me a video, I like, yeah, I know how they did it just by looking at he's it. He's special. That's what he's like, trying to tell you. He don't want to be arrogant. I'll tell you, the nigga's special. <laughs> no, I, I just, no, no, I no, you special. Say that, yeah, like, you special. Like, like everybody don't get it, man. You get it. And it, it's not everybody that gets it. You can have certain people that can go, like we said earlier, buy any kind of camera, have all this different stuff, and they can't do it. It's just like what I do here. It's certain people, God bless you with something, mm -hmm. and, and other people can try to do it and try to re, you know, re, redo what you're doing, but they can't because it's a gift that God puts in you. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things on a visual that you may can do that, hell, nobody can do, you know? I'm being real or in the way that you do it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, me, so shout out to Twin Visuals. So let me go back to 19. At 19, when you first started, how long did it take you to figure out that this is where my passion lies. This is what I want to do. Um, I think after my fifth or sixth video on my YouTube. How many um, years did that take? Or honestly, months? It, it months. I'm not trying to brag. If you go on my YouTube, you'll see the spaces. I learned mm -hmm. pretty fast because I seen, I'm not going to lie, at first, I was working a very hard job. And I'm like, I'm seeing the money that's coming from the videos. I was like, let me try to learn this. Maybe I ain't gonna work here no more, but it did take a little longer for me to actually quit my real to job jump. to actually do this because of the people. They um, a lot, even though negative, not negative. It's just the like a lot of people wasn't consistent. For me on, oh, I get it. To, to for me to even do that because at yeah, one the point money wasn't stable. I get it. At one point, I was just like, I want to be East Texas. Like mm -hmm. I want to stay in East Texas yeah. and do this for East Texas, but. I had to get to that point in my life where the world is bigger than East Texas. 
I still love East Texas. I'm doing everything in my power right now. When did you move up? What you mean? Here. Because you live in Dallas now? I've only been in Dallas for eight months. But my second year, um, yeah, my second year, I shot this couple. I drove for a free video. I drove two hours. Shot them just to get my face here. Even though it didn't just blow up or nothing. I do stuff a like couple? That. Was yeah. it in videos? Was it music? Yeah, it was a, okay. it was music. Um, I did their uh, video. It was cool. Uh, it was just was a drive, and then me doing it for free. I just kind of looked at it like, ah, I should never done that. No, but, no, no. God is good. Man. Yeah, for sure. By me doing that, um, that was my first time ever doing an actual, you know, two girls, you know, and they're a couple actually doing their music video. So it was the first time for everything for that. Mm-hmm. So I love to get that out the way and actually put it out there. And then when I put that out there. A lot of people, you know, was gravitating to it, but I just knew I need to do something else. And I think um, I started working with Enchanting. That was from oh, yeah, out here. Oh yeah, that's hot. I started working with her, and um, I had shot her one video, and she posted it, and that helped me get clientele out here. But I still stayed in East Texas. That's hot. So, so I you would were traveling uh, back and forth. Enchanting. I would signed. only come out here on the weekend. Then she signed to ten seventeen. Ten seventeen. The Gucci sure. now. So okay. that's that's a big deal. You know, we got to put that in there because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, these people start. And that's something like I talked to Half Pain about, you know, you guys be helping to build these these uh, different artists' foundation. And then after they spring forth, they go and they get with the people who the industry people. And a lot of time the industry block the door of letting Most you guys way. even. But how many proceed. videos did you do for her? Only that one? Three. Three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. like it's like they really they really start off in a place that everybody gotta start somewhere. Right. Yeah. And so when they start, it's like these guys, the twin visuals, the heat HDs, the half pints, all these guys, they start up and the Jeff Adaris too, even though he they I ain't gonna go there. I could go there on that, but a lot <laughs> of times, you know, these guys uh uh they pivot off of these guys and, and, and I think I mean, don't, shout out to Jeff for there, but, uh, you know, for the brothers, Most I put it like that, people that look like me, it's always a stigma, and I ain't trying to put up a, a you know, a sob story, but I am saying that we have to be careful on how we, we, we let people utilize our resources. Most we got to start looking at ways to leverage because we putting that groundwork in, and I pray to God that somebody will be able to bridge that gap for our, our young visuals uh, the torn visuals, the half paints, the 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 heat HDs. You know what I mean. The people who who are are I believe a lot of times uh, just used and abused. I, that's my, my own God. opinion. I can believe how I feel. No, I mean you're totally right. I honestly feel just because me learning. Um, I've actually seen people either hit the industry doors that I've shot or are or, or actually there. And I don't get mad at them because yeah. I, I understand. Like yeah. I, I actually understand. It, it comes to the cameraman that don't understand. Yeah. Like they're they ain't never been there or been around them yeah. to understand. So it may be not her fault or whoever fault. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, yeah. It's probably just the people. Well, she, she got to do what she got to do because she signed into yeah, a situation. Most definitely. But at the end of the day, as you grow and as you prosper, you start to get leeway. And I believe they lose their mind or lose sight of what happened to get them in that door. Most definitely. That's See, why I actually, you, you, um, go ahead. I actually would, um, I kind of feel like uh, you should build with the artist. Yeah. I, I came in the mix, and that's why I understand. I came in the mix when she was already doing her thing. And yeah, 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 yeah. But I would prefer no. to build with an artist. And there's a, like a few, there's probably about four artists right now that I'm actually want to build with, like starting, like, yeah. hey, like they ain't <laughs> never had good videos, boom, boom, boom. We in the chemistry of working, like I'm. That's how I'm trying to be because I don't want to be that guy. Like you'll never see. Like I'm just not gonna go up and shoot anybody that's popping right now. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, well, I, let's go back to enchanting. I definitely wasn't wasn't just pretty much putting the eyesight on her. I'm just saying mm-hmm. in general. Most no, I, you know I totally what I mean because because I I don't, I don't know y'all situation, but I have seen artists who basically do so many different videos and then when they hit they go and I understand that sometimes like even when I'm doing something that nobody's ever done before I can't take everybody with me but at some point I can reach back and say hey that, that, you, you see what I'm saying because y'all, y'all heard what he said yeah, you, you, at some point, like, <laughs> at some point. let me I'm coming like yeah yeah but but you don't at some point then I reach back and I say you know what I can do this or that with you now it, even though I had this situation that I couldn't then, but I can now. Most definitely. That I don't see. Do you understand where I'm coming mm-hmm. from? I, they just go, after they go, they gone, they, they mind gone. Like, I done this all on my own when that's really not what's going on. And I know that's not what's going on because that's not the way foundations are built. 
Am I right? No, you're right. So, you're but you gotta totally have a special right. heart, man, in order to do stuff like I just said. Everybody can't do it because everybody looking at a way to feel like they moving and scaling, and they can't. They, they you know, they don't want to feel like they they helping somebody and they did everything. Well, you didn't actually. You remember what happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But to move on, um, just uh, anything that uh, Torn Visuals has got up and coming. I think me and you spoke. Are you about to go out the country or something like that? Yeah, I'm about to go in Nepal in June. What, um, what's up with that? Um, an actual artist. Uh, his name Lil Bird. Lil uh, Bird. Shout out Lil Bird. You want, How uh, did he you, find you? Crazy story. Uh, he signed under the same label as K-Camp. And um, I reached out to him at one point because I love different like a lot mm -hmm. of people see my videos and think that i just love rap but if you go watch his video you'll see that's where i love doing because that's when your creativity can go what's his name little, little bird. bird and um just him giving me a chance actually waited for it for me actually paid me for my time like literally i love that guy where is he, he from I don't know where he's from, but I know God. that he he's from Atlanta. He's from like, God. He, he, he out yeah, there he in Atlanta. Yeah, he's from God. Hey, and I really appreciate that's the way it go. That guy. You know I mean, what I'm saying? <laughs> like like when doors open like that, you know already what it is. Stop playing, oh, yeah. man. You oh, know what definitely. I'm saying? Man can't do certain things, and I think people sometimes lose that's sight him? of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You you man can't he can only do so much, man. Nah, I'm already knowing. <laughs> <It's, laughs> some of these things uh, you can't explain. And and you know I'm telling the truth. Nah, Yo, some of the things fact. that God put in you to where you figure things out that others can't figure out, you can't explain it, man. And it's just it's it's cool to be able to to be uh, used. I put it like that, man. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when you when you think about artists you've worked with, is he the biggest artist that you would say you've worked with? Uh, no. So okay. you've worked with him before. Um, no, I'm that's my first it's time. Be first he time. actually like no, 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 no. That no, video, video, yeah, that yeah, video, that's your that's, video. Yeah, that's my video. I love that video. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all gonna have to yeah, watch it. I'm gonna watch video. it. But but um, as far what was the question? Biggest here? artist, biggest uh, artist, biggest artist. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to get into that because of some mishaps. That's where you learn the game. And hey, you actually start understanding. Hey. But uh, I've worked with three artists before, and my real ones know which one I worked with that I never got credit for. Wow. That, that, and you just that don't feel like you even want to even deal with them anymore. I just, I'm not that popular to even just make a statement on it like so that. So when you to, say you didn't wow, get credit that's for crazy. it, you did, <clears throat> sorry, you did your research, you didn't film it. No, I actually, did. I actually filmed, you filmed it. it. You did film it, did everything, but... Okay, so whenever, how does that work? How whenever, do you not get we'll credit it, for we'll something? We'll keep it on the gray, but let's go. Whenever I was twenty and uh, I shot for someone, edited, I'm talking about, I went crazy on that video and um. Just, but you put your tags on it, right? They took it off. That's the thing. They, they can take your tags off. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Like they took my tag off. They didn't give me nothing. I commented on the post or whatever, and then I had a few people like comment on it, but it. I'm not that type. I just hey. W were they from the country? Yeah, they're from Texas. They from Texas. Yeah, two of them from Texas. Wow. Is there a way that you as a videographer can protect your work um where they can't take your stuff off? Honestly, Meaning like cuz my mind is going and I'm like I mean, I honestly don't know. It's just whenever at that time it was a special moment. So, um when they hit me up and they seen my work, I didn't ask for money or nothing. I just just who they were. And you know, I went there, shot um, edit the video and sent them the footage over and so their video man i'm assuming must have did all of that because i remember i said everything happens for a reason you just need to learn from it yeah. and the reason yeah. why i'm saying that is because like even like your tags because if your tag is at the beginning like which most of most people are mm -hmm. you can easily cut that take that off most definitely. but then like if you drop like a tag like somewhere in the middle or you know do whatever i don't think you can do that i don't think you can do that i think what you can do though because it it'll take a lot for them to try I think, to mess I think, that uh, up i think what you can do is you can get your paperwork right most definitely that's the does most that important work? Yeah, does it that works. Help? it works because you know, if you go to an attorney you they're gonna have to pay you back for those credits most definitely as okay. far as, um, you got to get that paperwork right okay that's why I, i'm trying to figure right. out am i right you, you, know, you didn't have business. anybody sign he was young he was 20. I didn't, I didn't know nothing about that yeah. so do you have everybody sign now when the budget is big for sure yeah yes. you need to but do it even on small because these people can yeah because these people can grow that's right no well but see the thing is at that point nine out of ten they already dropped the video with my tag on it it make no sense for them to try to take it off at that point if the video right. blew up but okay when it comes to a bigger project when i know for a fact which i have shot some of those before um like my tag may not could i'm not gonna lie 
Have you seen my tag? Yeah. I just you saw seen it. half pint tag? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of like you ain't gonna see that in some celebrity videos, but I'm trying to change that. Like sometimes when you watch a video, you just see yeah. the director's yeah. name. Yeah, yeah. We actually had them tags where it stand out. Yeah. You got half pint smash screen. You, you got, got me coming out of the portal. Yeah. Like, yeah, you oh, but don't you have? Can't you do like two different tags? Like, yeah, he's, he's you know, you have his, one for the more it's his deal. you know certain type of clients, but and see, you have I one for. I actually, who can you say have a tag like that? I want that on a celebrity video so bad. Like I love half pint tag. I yeah. mean, like I, I tour on visuals. You, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, let's get it. that in there. Yeah, yeah nigga, that's nah, my but, nigga out of you. But, take don't but, play. But most definitely, I just uh, I learned to get my paper. I love right. your tag. I love. I think it, it's different. I love the color variation. Most definitely. That's, Let me go that's back what and I look like at it again. The most. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's different. Yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. I I, I love, and I, when I see it, I know it's hometown. It's, it's special to me. That's the way I look at it. I'm sorry, everybody. That I know I'm a little biased, but. I, I just know where we come from, exactly. and it's special to be able to make it out. You know what I mean? To be able to get people to notice you. When I first started opening stores and doing the stuff that I started, you remember I had the store in Marshall mm -hmm. too, the one across from the mall. Like you, I, I've been like I know your son and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think at one point I don't know if you had an artist or he had an artist and then wanted me to. She was a yeah. girl artist. Yeah. I can't remember. More than likely it was his. Yeah. It, it, so, it, it, I, I never like, had a, a artist. I'm that's something I'm getting into, but I don't trust. <laughs> My trust issues is bad. Uh, I just feel like they they spring up and I see the I see the game and it's shiesty. It right ain't there, it ain't like 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 it, 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 I mean it's on a whole nother level. A lot of people about themselves. And I'm know. I'm a I'm a person that's a hustler and I don't play no games when it comes to my business. So. I'd rather not get myself caught up in something that'll have me looking crazy out oh, here. Definitely. So, I'm, cause I'm gonna say something on the mouth of the South. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not like you. You like uh, you gonna you're not gonna. So I'm gonna pull up. I'm like the old Suge Knight, Nim. I pull up on you, nigga, and and I'd be like, nigga, what's up with what you doing? Dame Dad, shout out, baby. You know what I'm saying? What you do this for? And I'm gonna have you gonna have to answer, you gonna have to smell my cologne at Pimp C say. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come see you, Jack. And and that's the whole game. Like you're not gonna take nothing. So no. I'd rather not play myself in it. And it's a certain way the industry move that I I'm trying to understand better. And I've been looking at it for all my life. I just I like real man. Some Don Chief said, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he not like on social media like that because he deal, dealing with real life. And and that's the way it be. No, nah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like I can't play with it when it comes to my cameras and my money and my time and rocking with you like this. I've had issues and incidents, but at the end of the day, uh, respect is first. Respect. What you just talked about was disrespect, really. Far as people doing something to yeah, you and then doing that, that's disrespect. So you got to see me on that. What's the most creative video that you've ever created? Mm, I actually said a little bird just because you got to hear his Was voice. Was it this one? Yeah, you, you you have to hear his voice. How many how many videos um, have you done for him? Just this one? Just that one. Okay. And that's hot. That's, that's, hot. that's Where'd y'all do it at? In Atlanta. That's hot. That's hot. How creeped out were you doing it at a cemetery? A little, like a, <laughs> like a little. It's the, but at that point, um, like I said, just listening to him and then actually being at a video and actually seeing some of my fans like attend and stuff like that. So I kind of wasn't looking at it anymore. I was just like amazed at the people that even came to his video shoot. How many people were videoing? Just you? Yeah, it was just me. Okay. I don't think I've never worked with another videographer, but I actually recently just shot a video for Half Pint, one of his artists or wow. something. But that's hot. I ain't just never like, are we working on it together? Like he actually gave me leeway to actually editing it and shooting it and stuff like that's that. Hot. Do you have a camera crew that you use? No, you just just. But you you're willing to beef up if you have to? Yes. Because some if some people jobs are willing might, to work. Yeah. Some, because I'm not gonna lie, um, coming down to it, it's. The factors of people worried about getting paid and then a lot of people they ain't even educated in the camera mm -hmm. and they're expecting to get that pay because of who they're shooting well the so, thing is you got to make sure your paperwork right again you got to do your deposits definitely. you got to make sure that's the whole game of vrm like you get i mean you know i'm gonna make sure all that's right i mean you know that's that's the thing that i am as a businessman mm -hmm. you know maybe that's why god put me in everybody's life because i'm gonna make sure to have them contracts you know how i am we gonna yeah, make you just sign want to be on here oh, and know. you know it's just it's just business and and we got to treat it as such. We got to stop running around here using, it's time to put the shoebox up. Yeah, I heard it. You know what I'm saying? It's time to put the shoebox up. We got to make sure that we are uh, getting the paperwork signed and making sure people are, are, are understanding, respecting. I got the, the friend zone is totally off limits with me in business. I ain't trying to hear it. 
I actually have not done a lot of business with people that wouldn't even sign the contract. Correct. There it's you go. On some, oh, I got to do that. Like literally, it's business, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, you it's got to step up, business, and so. I think I think you should implement that in every artist Most because you never know. You know, you just never know, and it, it's just good practice for you, and and for that person, you helping that person. Yeah, you're right on that. You helping them because they need to be educated on the fact that the process is real, and and that what they're getting into dealing with you is a whole nother level of respect. Damn what everybody else doing. Nah, you know sure. what I'm saying? <laughs> this video is creative, <clears throat> and it says a lot about your work, the fact that um, he was willing <clears throat> to use you again in another video. You know what I mean? Mm. Because he seemed like the type of person who loved creativity because yeah, of definitely. just because of his style. I'm looking at his fashion and this, the way how he's moving in the video. And for the fact that he's using you and taking you somewhere else to even – probably to see how far you can go with your creativity. I want, I'm really just I'm, I'm for excited. You to hear it, watch when you go right, down, I am excited to, to 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 see that next video that's going to come out. How long did it take for you to to like you go Process shoot a video like that? Right. To, that to, I'm not going to lie, it took me a while just because of the people that I was sending it to. It wasn't something that I was just all like So the so, draft was done in no time. No. Nah. I'm not gonna lie. It just took me a minute because I was just trying to make sure it was perfect. You Are you know? romantic with your stuff? <laughs> Most definitely. If I'm feeling the song, I'm I'm gonna go nasty on it. Like I'm just I'm all in there. Like I literally sit at like today. Like I sat to uh, edit uh, half my artist. His name uh, Taji. I'm, I'm my bad, bro. If I'm saying it wrong, but I actually sat at home all day just to edit his video. That's how normally I, I don't do that. So That's you have I, to be feeling the song to to to, to put in. Good, great work. Yeah, for sure. Like so you, you, if you, you film you. somebody and, you know, yeah, it's creative and all, but the song is just trash to you because everybody has their own opinion and Most stuff. Most definitely. Um, you can't put a 100% in it? I'm not saying I'm not going to put a 100%. I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to lie. Like, you can't just say you love everybody's music. And you right. can't just say you can work with everybody. But I try to work with everybody, even if the song's not good, because that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. It can be a million people out right. there that's going to think right. otherwise. That's so, why I said in your opinion. Yeah, I'm still going to go out my way for a video, even if I don't like the song. Okay. That's but hot, man. It's still, like I said, it factors into what was the budget for, though. Yeah. Because that, that still factors in a lot. Because something like that, I'm not going to lie. And I actually had to listen to Lil Bird. I actually had to listen. Of course. Deeply listen. Listen to the lyrics. Yeah. Because, when, like I said, when you hear him, his voice got so high. I'm going to listen to his like, voice afterwards. It's yeah. so high. And I'm just like, I had to gravitate. Like, is he I a rock? To, rock? Rock nah, metal? What is it? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that boy Bird. I, hey, I <laughs> don't know what it is, bro, I don't know. But keep doing it. I can honestly see that industry. Is he here in Dallas? No, no, he's in Atlanta. He's Atlanta. Atlanta. Well, he's in Nepal right now, but right, right, right. So, 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 does you, he ever you, come to Dallas? I don't, my man. He, I don't think he's he ever came. Because maybe we could get him on the show. I when he ask, get back from Nepal, yeah. I can. I swear, ask, I can definitely I'll ask. I bring him in. Definitely yeah. ask him. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I think that's hot. I mean, the way that you, um, the way that you was discovered with him, is, that whole relationship is something epic. You know, we kept a relationship. That's it. Without even seeing each other, we didn't know each other. We wow. barely talked on the phone. We text through Instagram. Wow. One day, um, uh, uh, Mama Scott and him, you know, Mama Scott and him back in East Texas, yeah. they were heading out there, and they asked me to film something, and I hit him. I said, Hey. I'm coming to Atlanta for the first time. Like, I've been had the money for, but it was just, it was like, I just, I couldn't and do God it. God worked like, it out. God worked it out. I went see. there, and like I said, that was, I'm not going to lie, that video was like what I call on the fly videos. We got creative on the set. That's hot. Like, we got creative as we was there. And, you know, I didn't have a lot of people to help, but I had like two people that hold the lights. Yeah. Because I, 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 I wasn't used to, like, normally I'm at home, so all my equipment with me. I was unlimited on equipment yeah. and everything. Let so. me let me let me let me let me ask you this before I because we're going into a top three artists of all time, mm -hmm. uh, dead or alive. That 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 that's good stuff right there. It's something that I ask all my uh, guests. Um, top three artists of all time, any genre. Any so genre. that means you could include Bird because we don't know what he's mm -hmm. doing. But at the end of the day, he's doing his own thing. I would say right now. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be 100 with you. Um, since I started shooting videos, I only listen to local artists. Okay, top but, three um, artists of all time. But top three of, of all, all time, time, I would say any genre. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne. Um, That's one we get a lot. Mm -hmm. 
I would say Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. That's the first Busta Rhymes. That's the first. Let me. Uh, but, it's, but that's it's good. Jamaican though. heritage. I would say Busta Rhymes and Eminem. Eminem. Uh, oh, you just, I've been you just killing like, Eminem. Uh, no, I like Eminem. I mean, I, I like him for his artistic. Uh, I love his uh, visuals. His, 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 his lyrical uh, ability is non. It's not undeniable in what he does. Now he ain't no PMC or nothing. He nah, ain't no. You know what I'm saying? But he he do his thing in 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 his uh in his own way. You know, for what he does. Mm -hmm. I mean, my mama ain't never. You know, you know, we wasn't doing the pills and all that and we didn't you know what I'm saying we wasn't killing our mamas and burying our yeah. moms you know so that's a different thing we not we not white trash or trailer park trash or none of the trash that they have that he to be deal singing with. about well yeah 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 we're not that so I can't relate to it like that I but I understand his his visuals are good the stand video was popping the stuff that he done on his video the, where he gets creative mm -hmm. like Buster Rhyme I think you're looking at the visuals more Most, yeah. I'm not gonna lie that's, that's and what Lil Wayne Lil Wayne, I'm, this, uh, it's, as far as I just always loved his sound back then. How okay, to, how to love is me and my girlfriend's favorite song. Already, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like something that we was in school and we just listened to. So it's so crazy when you're in a certain um, profession. Is like you look at everything at differently he looked at the first one from the artistic point of view he looked at the last two from the visual the point visual. of view I'm right like, like, i know yeah, exactly because, what he because does because you're because you're in that profession so it's just like before we started dealing with a lot of videos like he'll say to me you know we watch youtube and we just watch different videos but now that we're into the visuals a lot when you watch in visuals you're like oh his videos so it could be on a tutorial or his, audio, be like, sure. or his, his audio. audio sounds terrible sure. before before you weren't looking at it you're just watching the video the to get you know to learn I, I definitely like I, I didn't impact it. my mom and a girlfriend <laughs> my dad we were watching a movie and they'd be like I remember one day my my girlfriend was like look at that camera angle look at that drone I'm like <laughs> yeah yeah and then yeah. Uh, when I was uh, shooting a video she was like that color grades and I, I'm like look at you yeah <laughs> man that's you, man. I like that I like so that because you you basically you you just permeate permeating your, your the people around you. You should create a family them. business because you said that your kids love what you do and they're mm -hmm. involved. So you training them and then train your girl future wife into you know another aspect of the business, whether it be Most the paperwork definitely. or whether it be the they light work. person. Because you said you're looking for what a lighting person. Um, necessarily, yeah, but I've, I've been trying to do it with my parents. You know, I know everybody has their things in life that they're doing, but I'm trying to make sure I'm right. Before I even try to bring that along, but I do want to have a team, you know, yeah. for sure. It'd be nice if you took your family with you, you know, mm, for real. teach them so you keep it right in the family, you know. Mm -hmm. They know you best and you know them best. Most you definitely are, uh, definitely a uh, uh, key to the to the East Coast, East Texas uh, culture, and also to what what's happening in Dallas now and Atlanta. Anybody, anywhere else you've had to travel to shoot, like. Uh, San Antonio, Miami, Austin, Miami. You Cali. went to Miami. Let's go, man. That's Miami in the building. Miami, Miami, Cali, Miami, Miami, Cali, Cali and be calling ATL. our guys out of Texas, um, man. Those three Lewis, is the San main. San Francisco. Um, so you travel everywhere now. New York. But this would be your first time out of the country. Yes, ma'am. Are you excited? I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. Why are you scared? I watch too many movies. So. <laughs> hey, hey, it's all good, man. What God of the you. place or oh, no, just, or just, just being in on the general, plane? But the well. place itself is beautiful. Um, he told me myself that I'll be happy when I come out there, and he's a very spiritual person. So how long I is the flight? Him. Do you know? I think it was like 22 hours. <laughs> and then he told me, you know what, what? What? What surprised me? He said the journey. You know what that means. I'm mm. doing some walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, but yeah, but that's, that's that's hot because that experience you'll never be able. To, you'll and be you can a, put it on your resume, and well, you, you'll be one up on a lot. That's right. what I'm about to say. I, I don't know any too many like people that been in Nepal. So and you know what? Yeah, I hadn't. That so. stuff is addictive. Let me tell you. Once you start doing it, and you're gonna be looking for people who willing to shoot in those far places because yes. you want to extend your catalog, and you know so. But do your research on doing videos in those areas and using the camels, using the you know different stuff like that. No, let me let me ask this question before we we, we uh, wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. Um, um, Twan, at this point, goes back to talk to Twan at nineteen. Mm -hmm. What's the most important thing that you would tell him to help him with his career in visuals? Never give up. Never give up. Never give up, and that's what I have not done. 
Okay. I never got up, gave up. It don't make yeah. sense you telling yourself of that because you, you already, you, you already, already never gave up. Nah, I'm talking it's, like it's been a lot. It's though. been a lot. It's, put, it was a lot of time when you trying, thought about giving up, huh? Trying to 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 work. Okay. Um, a 12 hour shift job and then getting off and then trying to continue shooting tough. videos. So it got like, tough. But like I was shooting three videos a day. I go months. right back to. Everything you go through prepares you for the future because when you got here, you're like, well, I didn't sleep. I had to work through whatever. And a lot of times you find yourself doing that and you don't have a 12 hour shift mm -hmm. job. So by you doing that in the beginning, it prepared you for most definitely the things that you have to do now. So and it just shows you always remember that because everything you go through, you'll as you get older, you realize that, oh, I had to go through that to to really be here. You know what I mean? You learn oh, to appreciate true. certain things in life. But um, I'm excited for you. I can't wait. I, I'm super, super excited. I can't I wait to see that video because you, you actually hyped me up. Me too. Like, I can't wait to see what you have in store I'm coming out. I'm just looking at the Google You said images. in June? Yeah. So you, it's going to probably come out in July? No. It just all no. depends on him. Uh, uh, but when you come yeah, back to town, listen, when you come back to town, when you get from out of the country, make sure you hit me up. So, you know, we can we can talk about that trip. I'd well, love to do another a recap on oh, this I can video. definitely do that. I just want to see what sure. happened when you went across there. You'll do that for me? No, I can definitely Thank do that Thank you so oh, much, I man. have one more thing. We were talking about blogging, that you were, you know, saying that it's important for you to blog behind the scenes and certain things so people can see what, you know, videographers and so forth. Will you be blogging your trip? Yes, ma'am. That's hot. Because I want to see it all. For sure. That's hot. I'm going um, to put together a little video for us to see mm -hmm. what happened over there. I think it's not going to be long, but it's it definitely. But it's still going to give us insight in what's going on. Like on the plane and then, you know, coming back and all that. I'm, I'm, that's something that I've been trying to do for the longest. It was it was either me trying to hire somebody or just going buying another camera. So I eventually just bought another camera. And uh, my first time doing a vlog, I just I cut it. Because it's just, like I said, I don't like being in front of the camera, but shooting this past video with one and a half pint artists and actually having someone shoot me going back to it's look important. at that footage i'm like it's important it's yes. important to have somebody honestly it is hard to that's why it'd be good if you could just carry your girl with you everywhere you right. know because uh, be it is important to have someone because i've seen people who um are videographers or you know just a photographer and to me it looks so great when they have somebody there videoing them videoing or video okay. them taking a picture because it shows that behind the scene a lot better because it's hard for you to be doing your work and you know trying to get a camera to be yeah, doing but you some of them do crappy behind the scenes I, too I, I ain't even gonna did lie. you hear me no nah, some of them look like why, trash that's why I was so say so you gotta have the right person the to right capture person, that right. that 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 backdrop that back scene because if i've seen some i'm like man i wish they went because the video looked good but the the way they was looking at how they filmed it it looked horrible i'm not gonna lie i love legal trap um they film my behind the scenes good they normally don't shoot s log and i told them s log and they shot it perfectly wow like, and i love that i really appreciate you guys for real well man That's i good. appreciate you man how can people reach you if they want to get a hold of you for some business let's get that man, in man you can uh um, reach me <laughs> torn visuals at instagram um you can go on facebook i'm really finna get off facebook because they didn't Why? have me they didn't have me banned i ain't been able to promote what did you nothing. do I don't know. Don't get off. Yeah. Just just wait it out. I waited hey. two years. I was for being, real. Yeah. Oh lord, they so, be yeah. banning people a lot. Yeah, uh, they they don't. It, it slows your traffic down. But those are stages where people, your 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 people are there. Most so don't ever give up on your people. That's like you. All right, door. you guys. I ain't gonna give up on you. But, <laughs> um, just type in Torn Visuals really anywhere. Google. You can find out a way to reach me. If I can't reach you, honestly, it's because I'm busy. Because there's a lot of artists. That's why I knock That's right. nobody. Anybody that's trying to shoot, I literally will push artists, other people away because I can't shoot everybody. Exactly. I know everybody can't. That's why I don't exactly. hate on nobody. And it's Twan, T W A N. T W A N. Yeah. Visuals. Man. Visuals. Say, man, thank you so much for coming I on Boss Talk 101. And uh, like I said, we appreciate you, man. Um, we wish you much success. You always got love here, man. You can always come back, man. Always can come back home, baby. Oh, yeah. I yeah, man. East Texas guys. in the building, man. But we branching out, man. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. Boss Talk 101. And we out.